understand it's a totally expensive. This term is very surprising because it's, it has a square root in it. So it means that it's non-analytical with respect to A. The amazing thing is that they are now checking this. They have done experiments and has verified that this term is correct. This term is correct. And they are now uh, checking this. I can bet that this is, this is correct. However, this derivation is not reverse. We had two methods arriving at the same result with the same coefficient. By one method, by summation over most divergent terms, this is a kind of a concept which uh, would frighten mathematicians, but it works. <laughs> uh, well, it does work. Uh, another method is by what is called a pseudo potential. Uh, it's a little bit too uh, complicated to discuss it here, but anyway, we have two methods arriving at exactly the same result, and I'm absolutely confident that it is correct, but it is not mathematically rigorous. And I believe that uh, some mathematicians who is interested uh, in the subject and uh, looking at it may either be able to uh, to rigorize the statement or may even be able to to get the additional terms. It is a well-defined mathematical problem. <laughs> I know it's a type of problem that uh, STL is very much interested in because he and I have discussed uh, nodes in two-dimensional Schrodinger equation. <laughs> It's clear that the formula cannot be used for a negative A. The miraculous thing that they experimentally they can change A in they can manipulate A so they can go to a negative A. But then it forms pairs. It becomes attractive and they form pairs. And uh, you would not uh, discuss it in this manner. Uh, several laboratories in Europe and in America are now in hot pursuit of this. Uh okay, uh, this is Oh, one more, <laughs> one more comment.
A few words about Frank and Jim. Frank started graduate work in physics at the University of Chicago in January 1946. I began my graduate studies in mathematics there in January 1947. I befriended Murph Goldberg, Goldberger, who later became a prominent <laughs> physicist. On several occasions, Murph invited me to join him for lunch at Fermi's table. That's where I met Frank. We have often talked about math and physics when I visited Stony Brook, but I think I know Frank best from reading his commentaries on selected papers, <laughs> 1940, maybe that's it. <laughs> no, this is sorry. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to try again. What's that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I maybe it's Jim. Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> and let's uh, pick this up. Uh, I think I know Frank best from reading his commentaries on selected papers, 1945 to 1980. Particularly relevant here is his 1981 commentary on the future of physics, written in 1961. Jim and I have been close for years. In 1976, he alerted me to the Wu Yang Dictionary, relating gauge theories with con uh, connections on fiber bundles. That, together with uh, the Polyakov et al. paper on self-dual Yang-Mills instantons, got me back into physics. My Berkeley seminar in math physics began in 1977 with a quantization of gauge theories. I've been intrigued by QCD ever since. I believe my seminars helped build a robust interaction between mathemat mathematics and both gauge theory and string theory. I've made uh, a hit as an after-dinner speaker claiming that Jim's success is my doing. It goes like this. As my honorary student, Jim calls me for advice. As his honorary thesis advisor, I give it. Jim does just the opposite. That's why he is so successful. <laughs> for example, he called me from the Institute for Advent Defense Analysis to ask whether he should go to Stony Brook as chair of the math department. I said, no, capital letters, N-O. Go back to research. Look what happened. I'm happy to report a counterexample. Jim finally listened to me. I hope he has told you about his work on K-differential cohomology, although we have to invite him back for that. Jim, the new SCGP, that's <laughs> for the uninitiated, but you could guess, Simon's Center for Geometry and Physics, will be a perfect setting for you to flourish in physics as well as math. We are all indebted to you for your vision as well as for your support. Yes.